to be quite honest, it is nearly impossible to perfectly time when and when not to enter a trade and exit it. But this video is going to definitely make it easy for you guys to do that. Please remember that timing, whew, whew, timing is everything when it comes to end and exit a trading stock market. Yeah. Like, like this post. Oh, snap, I got three watches. Yeah, yeah, time, time. Hi guys, it's your favorite YouTuber again, Dami Solari, and you're watching DS Learner Finance. Let's break this down into sections, starting off with the easiest first, entering the stock market. Well, I feel like for every investor, before you enter a stock market, before you find a stock that fits all the criteria you need to guess what establish your criteria so for me i like to invest in stocks that have at least had the profits increasing for the last three years and also have at least had their revenue increasing for the last three years ideally i want to invest in companies that have their debts decreasing for the last three years as well but this isn't always true because you've got to think about it. If a company's getting bigger and bigger, guess what? Their spending is going to become bigger and bigger. So it's not always realistic to get a company have decrease in debt as well as increase in profit. But profit, revenue, that, 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 that's a must. Okay, that, that's a must. I can't compromise with that. Unless it's like a special sort of growth company or something. But yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a must. <laughs> This info you can find in documents, financial documents for that particular company that you're interested in, such as the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statements. Those three documents will be more than ample enough to give you all that information. What I also like to do is read the 10Ks and 10Qs. Now, when I say read, guys, like, I mean you need to psychologically prepare yourself for this because it's not just reading, it's like studying, it's like, it's like novels like <laughs> the, the for example Babcock's one was like 220 pages of just information about Babcock and that was per document so if you're reading the 10k which is the whole year and um, report and the 10q which is you guessed it q for quarter so three months a uh, report on the latest three months what's been going on in the company you have to read those two documents the latest one at the very least and yeah, it's very extensive reading. So definitely put on your inspector gadget glasses and study what the company is talking about. And I don't think I mentioned how long those documents are. They're really, really long. I know I'm a bit over the top with that, but it's just to show you guys how long exactly they are. Yeah, don't take them lightly. <laughs> And finally, you have to look at the basic information on the company. So things like the share price, the PE ratio, the market cap, the volatility of the market, i.e. the beta value, the liquidity. You want to look at the volume, the number of trades that are going on a daily basis. You want to look at the market cap, just how big is the company? Tell me, is it 12 billion? Is it 10 billion? And so on. But ultimately, what determines the right timing for buying and selling a stock is the share price so after doing all those analysis after looking at all of that information about the company how does the share price fare then and there that you're ready to invest guess what if the share price is too high but all that information behind is good then that company is simply overvalued at the end of the day it's all about the share price that gives the sort of final say remember your aim as an investor in the stock market is to buy undervalued companies so if your share price is overvaluing that stock, then it's not worthwhile investing. Exiting the stock market is probably harder than even entering it. Imagine investing in Tesla stocks. You have like 20 grand in Tesla stocks. Yeah. That amount of money already being in those stocks will alter how you think. And that's why exiting can be so much more difficult than entering because it clouds your judgment automatically because you put your money in there. You've got emotions tied up with that, such as fear and greed that are affecting your choices. What you have to do is be completely emotionless and run yourself through that whole interrogation process that you did to enter it. If you feel like at this time, right now, I own 20 grand worth of Tesla stocks, 
Um, but right now I still feel if I was a fresh investor, I would still invest in Tesla. I would suggest that you stay in that stock, you stay in that trade because it's still undervalued that way. But if you feel like Tesla's looking expensive, then I would sell your stocks. So you just have to completely get rid of your emotions and effectively treat it as if you're a new investor and make your choice based on that. Would you stay? Would you leave? And that will help you make the right choice when it comes to selling or staying in that stock. I hope you guys love this week's video. And please, please, please let me know what your thoughts are on this week's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Yes. Love you. Bye now. Whoa. Bye guys. <laughs>